message do you think it sends to independent voters when you do not directly answer the question, did Donald Trump lose in 2020? I think, I, sir, look. First of all, for, first of all, on, on, on the election of 2020, I've answered this question directly a million times. No, I think there are serious problems in 2020. So did Donald Trump lose the election? Not by the words that I would use, okay? So look, we could, but, but, but look, I, I really couldn't care less if you agree or disagree with me on this issue. And here's, and here's, here's the thing that I, that I focus on, because what the media will do, they'll focus on the court cases or they'll focus on some crazy conspiracy theory. What I know, what verifiably I know happened is that in 2020, large technology companies censored Americans from talking about things like the Hunter Biden laptop story. And that had a major, major consequence on the election. Now, Let's say, take that as a baseline reality. Even the journalists who constantly fact check me admit that that's real. Well, okay. You could say, well, let, let's say your view is that happened and we still think Trump lost. Or we, we, that happened and we think that means Trump won. Who cares? It happened. It, censorship is bad. And that's the substance of what we're focused on. And that's what we care the most about. And here's the final, the final point that I'll make is, you know what I care a lot more about than what happened three and a half years ago? is what Kamala Harris has done over the last three and a half years and what she's going to do if the American people give her four years in office. It's a disaster.